well, well, what day is the day? Tuesday. Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday. He said, look, yeah, do you know that we've been walking for four days? You heard what that judge said. Get out of town and keep walking. Yeah, I done walked so much till the misery in my feet done backed up to my stomach. Oh, now you go talking about your stomach again. Yeah, well, my stomach is talking to me for four days. Don't you know that I'm hungry? Ain't you never heard what the good book said? Man don't live with bread alone. Yeah, man don't live without bread alone either. I've been drinking so much water that my stomach think I'm taking in washing. Uh, the trouble with you is your brains is in your stomach. Yeah? Is that what's been growling? Boy, you bore me. Why don't you lift your mind out of your stomach and feast on the beauties of nature? Look at them rolling hills and that grassy valley. And look at them fleecy clouds just fleeced along there. And look at them big, beautiful rocks with the red soda running into the browns and the browns just melting into the green. Just look. I can't eat none of them. The trouble with you is you ain't got no soul. Is you telling me? Phew! Good gracious of me! Good gracious! Woo! Boy, oh boy, oh boy, do my puppies hurt. Boy, good grief. Oh, oh, oh. Say, you, you worried, ain't you? you? You ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm gonna get us a good job. Us, don't I always? What was the matter with that last job we had? The last job that we had? You mean the last job that I had? I done all the digging. Sure you done all the digging. Anybody can dig, but what would have happened if I wasn't there with my brains to boss the job? Suppose you got over ambitious, lost control of yourself, and just kept on digging and digging and digging, 50, 60, 100 feet, while well, you liable to gone on digging and come out on the other side of the world, in China, then you is in a mess. You can't speak Chinese. Uh-oh, I'd have stopped way before that. All right, then you stop. Then where is you? You in a hole. And how you gonna get out if I ain't on top to get you out? That's right. Sure, that's right. But let's forget all about that and look to the future. All right. The next job we get is gonna be a white-colored job. Uh, like a lawyer, doctor, judge. Which kind of job would you, would you like me to pick for you? Or oh, any job, I don't care, just so we get something to eat. I just want to find out how food tastes once more. Now, that's a job. You hit it. Hit what? Food taster. Now, what is that? Well, a food taster, he's a man what sits in a big overstuffed chair with a big spoon in one hand and a fork in the other. You know how them cans run on them belts before they put the tops on them? No, I don't know. Well, a food taster, he sits. And when them cans pass him, he's got to taste each one of them. First comes a can of soup. Lots of tomato soup, chicken soup, and turtle soup. And follow that comes cans of beans. And follow that comes along the cans of ham. And chicken with the gravy running clear back to the kitchen. After that comes the dessert, such as canned peaches, canned prunes, canned pineapples, and even canned plum pudding. And he's got to do that all day, except for the hour he takes off for lunch. Now, how would you crave a job like that? Yeah, what's the matter with you? <coughs> Interjustin. Brother Blake, that sign, sanitarium, and country club is a very good non diplomy But you ain't fooling nobody. You remember what the great emancipator said? You can fool some of the people lots of the times, and lots of the people parts of the time. But you can't fool no politician at no time. You said it, brother. They've got eyes in the back of their heads and ears all over their faces. And palms that's always itching. 
Here. Yes, sir. Unfortunate for you, you was right. But this will do a heap of scratching and do you a lot of good. Brother, I've been done good for a long time. I've got to go to work. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What, what, what do you mean, uh-oh? Say, how come all the towns that we pass has got the same name? Same name? What are you talking about? Every town that we pass for the last four days is named Gauslau. Now, look here. Here comes another Gauslau. Gauslau? Where you seeing a Gauslau? Yeah, here it is right over there. See it there? That ain't Gauslau. That reads go slow. Sure enough? Sure. Anybody knows that. One day I got to take time off and learn you something. You is one of them close together readers. Yeah? Yeah. Gow slow. <laughs> Over here, come on. There it is. Now look. Now, you go on the inside and get the chicken. I'll stay on the outside. If anybody asks any questions, I'll tell them I'm a chicken inspector, and you is my assistant looking for a parasite. Looking for what? Uh, looking for... Go on, go on, get the chicken. I, I, I'll explain to you later. Go ahead. Go on, go on. You think? Don't you know? Yes, sir, I knows. You knows what? I knows we done run out of gas, I think. Oh. Now, look at here. Is we is or is we ain't out of gas? Yes. Yes, which? We is. Well, don't stand there like a dummy. Get 40 or 50 gallons. 40 or 50 gallons? Yes, we don't want to run out anymore. I can carry 40 or 50 gallons. Who said you should carry it? Push it up here. Roll it up here. But don't bother me with small details. Go get it. That's 40 or 50 gallons. So what's the matter, Mr. Yard again? Shut up! Put it down, my foot boy. I've got your stretch out of legs. OK. Show the dumb trick of that guy running out of gas way out here. Well, show sure him. Do you see what I see? I ain't seen that many clothes on two people in a long time. I wonder if they got the folding money what goes with them clothes. I wonder. Get hot, baby. I got some work I want you to do. Brother Dawson, I hear something. Me too, Bubba. Ah. Walk you just do what I want you to do, that's all. Ah. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> I'll catch him, that's what I'll do. Well, excuse me, gentlemen, I didn't see y'all. Two seven in a row. 
You're pretty good. Bet you can't do that again. Uh, is you talking money or just conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I like this to my talking. Uh, would you like to join the conversation, brother? Oh, I don't mind speaking a word or two. Well, you gentlemen sure carry around a pocket full of wood. Yes, sir. That's the loudest quiet talk I ever saw. Go ahead. Let me see you do it again. Go ahead. Uh, do it again? Do it again. <laughs> Baby, they don't believe you. Come on, show them in your own language. Come on, show Go on to get them, Wally. Come on. Go on to get them. Hey, what do you do? <laughs> go on. It did it again, didn't it? Darn if it did. Would you gentlemen care to continue the conversation? I'll take half of it. Come on. Hey, but put it right on. Shoot, shoot, baby. Put shoot. it right on the wallet. Put, put, put your foot on the wallet. Don't let it go away. Yeah. Come on. Shoot, shoot. Go ahead. Shoot. Hold it. Don't let your foot slip. You can't do it again. Go ahead. Who can't do it you again? Can't. I got you in the phone. Hey, you better Make that eight. Eight from the king. Make that eight. You think he's a man? A man here. What? You gonna make it wallet? A man. Let me see your man. Make it back. Two folds on it. Two in it. Let me see them. They're all right. See the dice is all right. It's just the language you speak from. That's all. Is that right, Wally? They're all right. <laughs> They're all right. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Get it here. You're already shooting now. I'm shooting all right. I don't want nothing. Come on. Let it go. Let, let it go. go. I got half of it. What's that? That's the Who's half of it. Who's your foot on the wallet? Come on, boy. Be with me. Come on. Come on, let me Come on baby. Now's the time to do your stuff. Roll. <laughs> there it is. Can you imagine that? They need you to look at me. Just get on and shoot the dice, boy. Give me some of it. Just get on it. Go ahead, shoot. Uh -huh. shoot what you can't do. Don't miss him. This is, well, I've got to get out here and talk to him now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Wait, get that stuff. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Roll them out there, that's all you got to do. Roll them out. Come on. Ain't no use to work. Don't choke them. Come on. Ah, look at that. <laughs> what, what you shoot now? Tim, huh? What you shoot? What I shoot? Well, what you making for? I'm making for what you got there. Oh, come on. Let, let it go. Right there. You, 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 you don't feel hurt, son. Ha! There it is. Come on, there it is. Where to, gentlemen? Where was you headed when the gas ran out? That's the Judas Blake Sanitarium and Country Club. No, sound bad. Uh, you think you'd like it, gentlemen? Is it high class and all that sort of stuff, my man? Yes, sir. Nothing else but. Suits me. Continue, lad. Continue. Just come in. So what are you doing there? 
I got my finger stuck in the sand. <clears throat> well, how come you do that? I didn't do nothing but just put it in there just like this and... Oh, look at here. Ain't this a shame? Now look at that. You don't get caught in there again. Doggone it, ain't that a shame? Come on, help me with this thing. I don't know. You don't think there's the police, do you? No. They look like ready money to me. Well, in that case, I'd better extend the hand of welcome. That's right. Oh. This is shame. Look here, how did they get in here? I think that's a shame. I never oh, think I just got the thing right away. Dr. Blake, this is Mr. Jefferson. How do you do, sir? Glad to meet you, sir. And Mr. Eggs. Uh, how do you... <laughs> 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 oh, Mr. Eggs, the funny things you do. Mm. Oh, did you hurt yourself? I sure did. Oh. Can I show you boys around the club? Why, certainly. What can we lose? Well, that depends on Lady Luck. Come along. <laughs> well, Brother Blackstone, did you fix it? Well, yes and no. What do you mean, yes or no? Well, just a minute. I'm going to tell you. I think we'd better have a little conference. Don't sound so good, but come into my office. Now, look at here. Every time I see you, you cost me money. I've been writing you checks and checks and checks until I got writer's cramps in both hands. It's beginning to me to look like blackmail. That's a nasty word you use there, Brother Blake. I was run out of soft words, and that's the only one I know that fits the situation. Every time I see you, you want money. You's gonna be the camel that breaks the straw. I mean the straw that breaks the camel or something. Now, wait a minute. Don't let your liver get you in an uproar. Sit down a minute. Ain't no use you- Sit down! Now, you listen to me. Where would you be if the police came in here and raided you? Where would you be if they put handcuffs on you and took you away? I'll tell you where you'd be, on the inside of a jailhouse looking out. That's where you'd be. But are you there? No. Why ain't you there? On the count of me, that's why. And nobody but me. And you have the audacity and magnanimosity to call it blackmail. Well, I call it friendship. Financial friendship. Brother Brake, I can see that our friendship and business dealings is coming to an end. Goodbye. Now, Brother Blackstone, just a minute there. Just a minute now. Now, let's don't do nothing too hasty. After all, we've been friends for years. Yes, but this time you hurt me to the quick stone. Well, maybe. Maybe I did have a slip of the tongue, but, you know, a slip of the tongue is no fault of the mind. You know that. Now, come on and have a cigar. It'll help to decompose your nerves. Oh, you feel better, but it loves them. Well, yes, sir. Me too. I like it. Boy, that's good. Tastes like you put to sleep, don't it? <laughs> mm. <coughs> Look at here. <laughs> mm. Look at you. Man, and we ain't eaten a long time. Sure been postponing me. Good gracious, look at here. Look at that, boy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Hey. Huh? Loom it, loom it, loom it some of that salad of yours. No, 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 I'm going to make a shovel for them. Yes, sir, yes. Mm. Look at here, give me some artillery here so I can tack this right now. Here, 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 take your time, take your time. Take take whose time? Your time, somebody's time. Oh, you think I'm going to take my time and I have to leave longer? What are you talking about? Well, I'm going to push some crumbs myself, but I ain't going to go crazy about it. What? You did something good. Just look at these peas. Yeah, ain't they killing me? Boy, they really hey. nice for them, not your fingers. Look at him. Huh? I'm going to tell you, you have to be none of this, because I'm going to eat all this myself. No, your gums will rust before you get any of this right here, I'm telling you, right now. Well, Jeff, what are we waiting for? I ain't waiting. I ain't either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good, baby.
Well, brother, now that you see the light, I want you to know that you've nothing to worry about. You see, I handle the things, providing I got the things to handle things with. Excuse me. Daniel! What's the trouble, boss? Remove that. Brutus, honey, what's the matter? You ain't jealous, are you? No, I ain't jealous. But I ain't gonna stand for nobody getting fresh with you. Except me. Then what's the matter with you? Are you crazy? What did you do that for? Didn't you see him fussing around with Oh, honey, he wasn't bothering me. Shut your mouth. Certainly he was bothering you. And he was bothering me because he's bothering you. You're gonna keep this up and you'll ruin our business. Well, I ain't gonna stand for our business. What do you mean, our business? Well, I'm connected with it uh, indirectly. And you got me worried. Suppose you hit somebody so hard that you killed them and they died. Even as chairman of the investigating committee, I couldn't square that. That's right, honey, he's right. Shut your mouth. Go get to work and do your singing or whatever you're going to do. Answer me, where would you be? Never mind where I would be. I was right here now. And as long as I was here, ain't nobody going to get fresh with my gal. Run along, get out of here. No, sir, I'll do no such a thing. I'm going to stay right with you until you attempt to get down to zero. I'll be a good little boy and go home. Is everything all right, Mr. X? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mighty fine. Mighty fine. Mighty fine place you got here. Go up and get honey and have yourself something. Money ain't no item with us, is it? <laughs> Having time now. I gotta sing a song. Fine. Sing one for me. Well, why are you singing? Thank you. Well, I want one now for me, too. Okay, so I have a new. Boy, give me that, uh, if anybody cares, hit it. Boy, look, 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 look. Oh, little me. Oh, little me. Guess all I am is a dumb one. Never been killed. What? And I insist that all I need is someone. Don't want to sing. Huh? Uh, you telling me, huh? Me. Word of Don't want to read all this love in I need. Does anybody care? Think about polar bears. What's in my mind can be clearly defined. Does anybody care? Did you, you think I ain't here? <laughs> it's what I'm longing for. Hugs and snow, but not too much. I gotta have breath for more. I look at the moon, I sit alone on the stairs. Heaven above, I'm so ready for love. If anybody cares, I don't want to come. I go read a book, I never let fudge eclairs. No, that wouldn't do, cause I've got to do. I don't want to gamble, I want to put on air. I just want a chance at a little romance. If anybody cares, now I'm in charge and all that stuff is what I'm longing for. I'm hugging now, not too rough. I gotta have breath for more. Oh, I'm in the mood for being pursued, and I'm not the type to scare. Heavens above, I'm so Keep it up, boy. Keep it up. You 
got him. Get out of my way. I'm going back in there and get that guy. Now go on, go on. Now get home before you get yourself in trouble. Get good. Now look here, fella. You're getting tiresome. You're getting on my nerves. Pretty soon I'm going to take a whack at you myself. Now get going. Oh, so you want to get tough too, huh? Oh, misunderstanding. I'll misunderstand him. I'll bet you I'll run him back to Seguin, Texas. Go get him. Bring him out here. I ain't afraid of him. The bigger he is, the harder they fall. A big, fat, junior flip. Go get him. Bring him on out here. Ooh. Where am I? Ooh, how did I get this pain in my head? You just had another one of your jealousy spells and it backfired. You was the cause of it. You and your flirting around. Flirting around? Why, you big fat head. Hmm, I was just doing my hostessing. Yes, if you ask me, you was overdoing it. I was not. Those boys got loads of money. Rolls that big. They really stick it. 
There is. Sure. And I was just warming up that crap game of yours. Well, that's different, honey. I apologize to you. Don't be apologizing to me. You better go out to apologize to them. Maybe I'd better. Guess I will. That's what I'll do. Now, gentlemen, oh, what's the use of talking anyway? Come on, let's get out of here. Yes, Jeff, this place is not good enough for us anyway. Come on, let's go. Now, now, wait a minute, gentlemen. Just wait a minute. Hey, just fix it, just... hey wait a minute. Stand back. Hey! Good. Did, did I do that? Well, good gracious for me. I ain't that something. Here's still friendship that comes the hard way. <laughs> oh, glad to be. You read right about this. Yes, sir, let gone by be gone by. <laughs> Say, you know something? My little guy, you sure pack a big wallet. What was that to you? Your Sunday punch? Oh, that was my Wednesday punch. A bunch of linens goes with my Sunday punch right there. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you there, sister? Oh, put that away. All of this is on me. Sorry, gentlemen, you is both wrong. This is on the house. Your money is no good here. No good here? That's right. I can tell you where you can use it. Hmm? Well. There. Mmm, sister, now you are speaking my language. What have we been waiting for? Come on and lead the way. I never heard. I've been waiting for this place. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, come, boy. Yeah, come. Yee! Come on. Yeah, come on. Pay me off. Pay me off there. All right, what's the shooting? Let it ride. Come on, Jeff. Hop on this gravy train. It's leaving. I let him go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Don't miss it. Have <laughs> Hot dog. Now we're getting warm. <laughs> go. All right, what's your bet? Let it ride. Come on, throw the dice at it. Use the hold of them now. Come on, boys, all of y'all get on this. Let's make it a big excuse. Boy, is he hot. Come hey, on, sir. dice. Seven, eleven. Use your own judgment. Ha! Eleven. Ah! 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 here. Dice, you sure use your judgment that time. <laughs> I'll take over. Come on, go on. Let me see those dice. Show sure, that is right there. Mm. Uh, what's the matter, mister? Don't you trust your own dice? Yeah. But use these. Uh-oh. These babies is cool. I can warm them up a little. <laughs> but yeah, baby. Bet these on me and keep me lucky. Well, I got to warm these. Why don't you go on and bend it? Money in your pocket don't grow like hair on your head. Go ahead and bend it. That's it, baby. Come on, stop holding up the game. Shoot. Do, 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 right, Jim. He's got his own technique. Well, here I go. <laughs> Get him this time, Jim. Don't crap. The point is far. Little Joe. Boy, that was close. Mammy needs a new hat and baby needs shoes. Show it to him the hard way. Give me two two. Mm -hmm. Pour it in. <laughs> what did I tell you, honey? <laughs> Didn't I tell you that? If you stick with me, you'll wear diamonds. <laughs> 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 Did or am I alive? If I'm dead, here I am. And if I'm alive, where am I? Feet, can you move? Because if I try and you don't, then I know I'm dead. Well, here I go. Give me the answer. stand it much longer. You said it, brother. I haven't had any sleep since I opened that place. I told Ezra what would happen 
if he left the place to that no good nephew of ours, jitterbugging, jiving, and hullabalooing. You know it up here. Something got to be done about it. Come in. Come in, nothing. Come up here quick, Ezra. What's the matter? What's the matter? But what are you folks doing up here? You ain't changed a bit. You can still sleep through anything. Don't you hear that noise? Yeah, it is again, ain't it? Yes, and something got to be done. It's your house, Ezra. You got to do something about it. Go on over there and hush him up. Where, where do I get my hat? You know you ain't got no hat. Get along. Wait a minute. Look there. Where'd you come from? You don't belong here. You tell me. Go on, get along, Ezra. All right, I'm going, all right. Uh, what, what's my point? What, what, what's my Ten's point? Ten's point. Oh, Tim? Come on, big digger. Ah. Command through eight, ten's the point. Uh, 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 eight? 150 to 100, that'll make it. Come on, 150. Shoot it so bad. All well, right, don't get nervous. This is your place, you know. Come on, blow on you. Well, come on, give me some love. Blow on him. <laughs> Here you go. Don't miss him. Ah. And the man threw eight. Eight to the point. Eight to the Don't miss him, does he? You remember that garage you wanted? Here it comes. Ha! Ah. Ten, that's it. That's the point. Two, five. I shoot the way. Ten is right. Shoot the way. Shoot the way. No, no, no. no. Get the ticket what you got and let go. It's all right. I oh, got him. Man, I got him. him. Come on, shoot the way. Okay, shoot your head off. Well, just as you said, Mr. Coffin, we're going to get you. <laughs> Don't miss him this time. <laughs> Anything nine. Nine. Nine's my pint. Huh? <laughs> Ain't gonna miss this one. Any, meeny, miny, mo. I made five and I made four. Don't fail me now, little pals of mine. Show that man a big fat nine. <laughs> Ain't gonna miss him this time. Boy, <laughs> oh, is he hot. <laughs> well, where's the dice? Come on, throw me the dice here. Don't open up the game, because you let these bastards. <laughs> Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, sir. Good. Who said that? Who said that? I did. Who are you? Uncle Ezra. Uncle Ezra who? Uncle Ezra Dewey. Don't you know me? Oh. Oh. Uncle Ezra. I thought you was dead. I am. Well, what you doing here then? I was going to see what all this racket is about. My clock run down. What? What time is it, child? What? I say, what time is it? Look at that. Ain't that something? <laughs> uh, 
Any parts of it, all of it. I'm sorry, son, but the bank is busted. <laughs> well, <laughs> it'll be over but the shot. <laughs> I tell you what I'll do, boys. I'll make a sporting proposition with you. I'll bet you the house here against what you got in front of you. The house? Well, what you mean, the business and everything? Yes, the house, the business, and everything that goes with it. Everything? Yes, everything. Wait a minute. You, how do you feel about that, Jeff? I don't know. You feel lucky? Uh-huh. You feel that lucky? Maybe. Sure you ain't overshot yourself? Uh-uh. You know what the book says. Let well enough alone. And that show looks well enough for me. It do look kind of well enough. Well, keep the landlady from sweeping around our door for a long time. A whole lot of landladies. And a lot of doors. Well, make up your mind. Hurry, boys. This suspense is killing me. Uh, does we or does we don't? We don't. Everything. Uh, overruled. We done. Throw them dice. Uh-oh. Boxcars. Yeah, and that's why we be sleeping if you lose. Boxcars. The call of the open road. The life in the wide open spaces. Uh, you know, Mr. Blake, I was just talking to my doctor. My doctor told me to have a whole lot of fresh air. I'd have to have a whole lot of sunshine. So I thought maybe if I'd win this place here, it would keep me cooped up too much, and I wouldn't have no fresh air. So I think we better call the whole thing off. Don't you think so? Now, now you're talking, son. Don't yeah, worry. talking too much. The best down. Come on, pick up them dice. Now, wait a minute now, wait a minute now, Mr. Blake. Now, wait a minute. Now, you told me when we first started this was going to be a friendly game, but now you're talking about real estate and everything like that. Now, I ain't no use of that. Pick up them dice. Pick up them dice. All right. Uh, this is lively to break up an awful beautiful friendship. But uh, look, brother, uh, uh, get us a room, please. Don't hold me down. Uh, give me that dice, will you? Get that dice. Can you all find it? Uh, never mind, brother. Would you give me them dice over there, please? Dice. Dice, your papa talking to you now, Dice. Come on. Just, just hit just one more lick from me, will you, Dice? Just one more, that's all I ask. Just one more. Just one more time. Shooting Cat Beach, you done it again. Lady Luck, I knew you was. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been a slight change of management. So for the rest of the evening, the party is on the new owners, me and my partner, Mr. Washington Delaware Jones. Me and my partner was walking down the street till it got warm, business. But now, oh, where's I? What's the matter? Well, you just become my partner in our new establishment. But the shock was too much for you. Yeah. Well, honey, looks like I've lost everything but you. Get your hat and coat, please. Leave it. Ha! What do you mean, we? Wait a minute. 
something like you can handle that. <laughs> Kingdom come. <laughs> That's the last straw. I'm going in there and clean out this joint. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't own this place anymore. You know, there's such a thing as the law, and they've got the law on their side. Got the law on their side. But have they got the law on their side? Say, we've got some thinking to do. What do you mean? Come on, we've got to go into a conference. <laughs> Long about twelve, long about twelve, the hidey high and the holy hole. They're breaking them down in old dark town. Oh, glory be that doesn't have no bad to be. Sorry, how that little cat fell on me. Oh, don't you care, man? Can't you understand? Understand that you've been down in old dark town. I hear you, Gabriel. And here I come. Well, well. Happy Judgment Day, folks. Judgment Day, nothing. Jack Noise is coming from over there. You got a lot of time yet. Well, look, what are you folks doing here then? Waiting for Uncle Ezra. Here I am, very rejected. What happened? They white is dancing, drinking, gambling, and cutting up just some tools. Why, the place done changed hands right under my nose, and it looks like it's going to be worse than ever. That does it. My patience is exasperated. Let's go over there and give them the works and close the place up once and forever. You said it, sister. Come on, let's go. <laughs> No, Mr. Ed, yeah. I think working for you is going to be a pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a pleasure for both of us. <laughs> Taking away with that game. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ed, the funny thing you said. <laughs> and the door opened and closed all by itself. And that's the last I remember. Brother, if I was you, I'd lay off that gym. No, it wasn't that at all. I tell you, I've seen him and heard him with my own ears. Boy, you show us in a bad way. Hearing footsteps and seeing doors and talking about this. Uh, what's that? Uh oh, here he come again. Uncle Ezra? Is that you, Uncle Ezra? Yes, Daniel, but I ain't got time to stop and talk to you now. Give me your hand and help me up these steps. Did you hear me, Daniel? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Did you have a good time? Yes, well, time. Right here. 
And I has come back to tell you that we are fully ashamed of you and the way you've been running this place. And we're glad you lost it. If you try to open it up again, we's going to haunt you 24 hours a day as long as you is here. To say nothing of what we'll do to you when you join us in the hereafter. Now get out and keep going. Yes, yes, sir, Uncle Edmund. And you too, you old scared friend. Yes, sir. Jump! I just can't stand it no longer. 
Sit down, then. What you think? Who said that? I don't know. Who said that? I don't know. I did. (laughs) 